All right. Shalom. Shalom. This is Brother Humphrey. Want to die about all the wrong? I'm going to another video with the Spirit. How we got my small shot. First and foremost, as always, I'm going to start on giving all praises and glorifications to the Howell by Shemmy. I'm going to shout out Shemmy. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Well, peace, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of the earth. Preaching his word in truth and in sincerity. Shout out all right? As you see the title, all right, brothers and sisters, tuning in, you see the title. Serious question for you proud women, man. Okay? When there's no 911, all right? Because I like that. I'm the type of dude. I'm the type of guy that likes to put people in reality, man. You know? Because I, you know, I'd be like, fuck all the plan and at times, fuck all the plan and all the bullshit. You know, and your, your birth, you know, everything's all good, you know? Everything's all sweet. I like, especially women, I like to put you in reality, man. Okay? Because we know about the situation with the banks and how you got this, uh, this major bank. Silicon Valley shut down, okay? Which they say that's just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, Wells Fargo, um, uh, what they did, uh, withhold I mean, deposits or something like that. Well, people, uh, oh yeah, they, uh, people missing money, okay? And earlier this year, you had, uh, remember that situation with uh, Bank of America? All right, people was going in and, and, and you know, checking. Uh, uh, checking on Bank of America about their money this going this okay but my point being you know my question is to you women okay serious question to you women what the hell are you gonna do when all hell breaks loose okay what the hell are you gonna do when all hell breaks loose when you you're not gonna be able to shop and you're gonna lose all your um the scriptures say the ventures shall fail okay you're gonna lose all your uh, your pride, prize possessions, okay, and everything. You're gonna lose your money in the bank, okay? Because right now, the reason why you act so proud, all right, and act like you're better than men and all this crap, you got feminism going on, is because you know you got 911. First and foremost, you got 911, but you see the title. Basically, what happens when there's no 911? Because that's going to be a, a real reality real soon. All right? Sooner than you think, man. Because all hell is getting ready to break loose. And you women, you have been proud for for, uh, for too long, man. And your pride has gotten uh, um, so bad that, hey, I can't even explain how, 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 bad, how bad you women's pride has gotten, man. Okay? But the most high is going to get a, 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 give a real ass kicking out of you, man. Hey, just like I get hard on the men of my nation. Hey, I don't, I don't shit go shit when it comes to women, man. Okay, as, as rough as I talk to the men, these wicked ass niggas out here, it's the same energy I'm gonna give you women. The scriptures say what? There is no respect of persons, man, and that includes you women, man. Ezekiel nine and four goes into how the Lord's gonna slay utterly old and young uh, maids. And women. So, hey, the Lord says give no respect to person. That's a law. We read the book of Deuteronomy, the first chapter, in the 17th verse. No respect to person. That includes women, including little children, hey, little, hey, young women. But the Lord, you know, He's going to kill everything moving that ain't right. Okay, when that time comes, man. He's going to have the so-called white man slaughter, all right, particularly, primarily our people, the wicked of our people, which the Lord's going to bring that purge, all right, purge out the wicked of our nation, two-thirds. But guess what? Who's going to be included? You women. You women are going to be included in that purge, man. Okay? Hey, even before um, martial law is uh, implemented, going to have these um, these wild niggas that have been in jail that you had locked up. That's another thing. A lot, uh, a lot of men you had locked up wrongfully. You know, they're going to come after you, man. Okay? Because we're talking about a lawless society. We're talking about a lawless society where there's 
I'm gonna use a wrestling term called no holds barred. Anything goes. What the fuck you gonna think? What, what the fuck you gonna think is uh, uh, it's gonna happen when these guys have nothing to lose? See, that, that's another thing I wanna get into. When you have nothing to lose, all right? You you licking your chops, man. Because remember, it's gonna be a lawless society out here, man. Anything goes, man. Nothing holding your ass back. What the fuck you think gonna happen, man? What the fuck you gonna think? What the fuck you think is gonna happen to you women out there, man? Okay, that's been proud, bolsterous, all right? Pushing feminism. You got that vibration. I'm independent. I don't need no man, okay? That's why Isaiah 4 and 1 is gonna come into play real soon. But a lot of you wicked ass women, you're gonna be rejected. Okay? And the most I was gonna put the spirit on um his men to discern whether you're gonna receive mercy or not. So we're gonna have that power that day, man. Lord will I be one of the ones, man. I can't wait. Lord will I get that power, man, because I'm gonna reject a lot of you bitches out here, man. And I'm gonna say it like that, because a lot of you ain't women. Okay, I'm gonna throw that out here, man. Okay, because just like I said. As hard as I get on these niggas out here, I'm a, I'm a talk. Just I'm gonna give that same energy to you women. I'm a talk just as rough, okay? Cause you ain't dealing with no simps up here, man. That's another thing. You want a man to talk all gentle and hell? Not here. Not here, man. Not fucking here, man. Especially not for me, okay? I'm gonna give you that same energy, man. That same austere, rough energy. Cause hey, this is not a game, man. We gotta let you know this is this is deadly serious out here. Y'all think this is some something uh the the, uh, um, the joke about or uh, just something we in, just something to do. We wasting our time. No, you're wasting your fucking time, man. America's about to be destroyed. And before that, before that, all hell's getting ready to break loose and martial law's about to be on these streets. And you women, you wanna be the main victim of it. Proud ass women out here, so-called women. I don't, I don't even like to call you women. You're gonna be, we go, you're gonna be the, uh, um, the, the primary victim, man. Okay, you're gonna be the, um, one of the main targets. Okay, right along with these damn cops out here, cause they, not to get off topic, cause they, a lot of, a lot of Jay got a bone to pick with uh, these cops. Okay, these cops gonna get it too. Which you run for, uh. For protection to you, man. You women. But 911 is gonna be a, a damn joke, man. That old song, I think the hood flavor flay back in the day, man. Said 911 is gonna be a joke in your town, something like that, man. It's gonna be a damn joke. Okay? It's gonna be out of service. What the hell you women gonna do, man? Okay, because right now, while society's still intact, you still able to go to your OnlyFans, be a whore and a slut. And again, when there's no lawlessness, there's no uh, uh, police out here because they're going to get effed up too. But you think these men going to do that's been the pride? You've been depriving of uh, uh, that, that twat out here. Man. What you think they're going to do, man? Okay? Okay? A lot of you might say, oh, I got a gun. I can defend myself. But you only got so many fucking bullets, though. Huh? All right? And then, too, if you do got a gun, what the fuck you going to do? Okay, what what the hell are you gonna do if that man grabs you and pins you down? Then what? What good is that gun then? Huh? What good is that fucking gun then, man? Okay? See you you women need a you need a hard reality check. You need a rude fucking awakening out here, and the Lord's gonna give it to you, man. Okay? Because y'all been proud for too long and bolstered for too long. You think you're better than men, but it's going to show, hey, hey the Lord's going to show you in that day that you got a twat between your goddamn legs, man. You're going to remember you got a fucking split, man, between your goddamn legs, man. Okay? All right? You're not built like us, man. That's why you need a man to be saved. Okay? You're not going to make it. None of you Israelite women out there is going to make it. If you think that, hey, you got a cold reality check coming to you, man. You Israelite women that think you don't need no man out there, a cold reality chick is going to come to your asses too, man. Okay? Alright? 
because hey, the, the Lord's about to bring the pain out here, man. All hell's getting ready to break loose. These banks are closing, man. Okay, these banks are closing down. The collapse is beginning. Okay, hey, this year, my Lord willing, this is going to be the year, man. 2023, the whole for year, all prophecies, all right, come to pass. Lord willing, this be the year, man. You, you women, this be the year. You women are going to be sincerely humble. Yeah, yeah, brother said EBT is gone. Yeah, that's another thing I forgot to mention. Your food stamps. Hey, the so-called white man, hey, who you trust in, your, your lover, especially you so-called black women, okay? I'm talking about the women of our nation. Fuck the other nation, women, okay? Fuck the other nation, women. I'm talking about you Israelite women, starting with the so-called black women with her wicked ass, man, okay? The, the so-called white man who you trusted in, he done snatched your EBT away from you. Now what, okay? Who you gonna have left, man? Okay, because you shit it on the so-called black man or the Israelite man in general. All right, and a lot, a lot of them gonna come after you in that day, man. Okay, a lot of it, a lot of men. All right, you you've been like I said, you had locked up unjustifiably. Okay, you put on child support. Okay, they are gonna come after you, man. All right, and and, and then then what? No nine one one, nothing holding them back. Okay, what's that feminism and? And I'm independent going to get you then, man. Huh? Where's it going to get you? It's going to get you nowhere but but to the spirit world. Okay? Because y'all, hey, a lot of y'all are going to die here, man. A lot of women, a lot of two-thirds are made up of women of our nation. Women make up the two-thirds majority, man. And a lot of you going to die. Okay? And, and rightfully so. Okay? So if, hey, if, if you have any uh, sense... You will humble down and you will repent, okay? And you'll get yourselves together and try to look for a man of the Lord, man, okay? And hope the Lord have mercy on you, man, because you women, you're not going to make it on your own. Because remember, man, I'm going to say this again. I'm going to keep pounding your fucking heads, man. We don't need you, man. We don't, we don't need you women, man. You Israelite women. We need women, but we don't need necessarily need you Israelite women. Cause remember, the Lord is terrible, man. He can have us bring you back to the other nation women. We don't need y'all, man. Y'all need us. We the fucking prize, God damn it. All right? Because real manhood is coming back on the planet Earth. And you women, you need a cold reality check. And you're going to fucking get it, man. Okay? Because like I said, man, if y'all don't like the way I talk about these women, because you got a lot of Israelite simps out here, these Hebrew simpleites out here, don't like how we uh, 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 get on the women and talk real to the women. You can change the fucking channel, man. Okay? You can unsubscribe for all I give a fuck. Okay? All right? Because we, hey, yeah, men please. Hey, you got women pleasers too. You got a lot of Israelites out there that kiss these women's asses, man. All right, brother, do a scripture up. Okay? Let me um get that. Salakia. So before I um sign out. Cause man, this had to be said, man. Cause I don't, I don't, I don't like to bite my, I don't bite my tongue, man. You know, I, hey, <laughs> I, I tell, I tell, I tell a motherfucker how it is, man. It's cooling you women. Isaiah thirty, this is Isaiah three and twenty four. It says, and it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. Yeah, man. Cause you, a lot of you women, you already smell bad. You gonna smell really bad in that day, man. Okay, because you ain't gonna be able to wash your ass by um tampons, by um body wash. A lot of you gonna look like werewolves out here because you ain't gonna be able to shave. Hey, it's gonna be bad, it's gonna be bad, man, out here. But you but you women, you don't know how to humble the fuck down. You act like all hell can't break loose at any moment. Cause y'all in y'all feeble, fucked up minds, you think this society's gonna go on forever, man. But we, the prophets out here, the prophets of Yahweh, why Yahweh shot is out here to tell you that America's gonna get ready, is uh, getting ready to be destroyed. But before that, it's going to collapse. The dollar's about to collapse, and y'all gonna lose every fucking thing, man. You're gonna lose your house, all right. You already lose your food stamps, and you're gonna lose more benefits. You're gonna lose your house. You're gonna lose your car. Okay, you're gonna lose all these worldly possessions you love, man. All right. But trusting in the damn devil. 
And that's what you get for trusting in the damn devil, the so-called white man, because the Israelite man can't tell you a goddamn thing. Okay. But hey, to each his own, hey, that's what you get. Okay. You made you a lot of you women, you made your fucking bed. And guess what? You're going to lay in that motherfucker, man. Okay. So again, man, hey, this is just a, a, a question out here for you women. Hey, this video might get took down, but I don't give a fuck right now, man. Okay. Hey, because we at the end, fuck it. All right. The hell with it, man. Hey, the, the hey, the Lord's about to uh, open up a, a can of a, a whoop ass out here, man. Mm -hmm. Spiritual can of whoop ass, man. The Lord's about to bring great judgment on the planet Earth. We at the end, man. Fuck it, man. So-called white man, he about to turn off the internet anyway and come down having great wrath. And a lot of that great wrath is going to be on you goddamn women, man. Okay? Let alone these, these uh, uh, punk-ass niggas out here. But anyways, hey, that's just a, a question to throw out there to you women, man. What the fuck you going to do when all hell breaks loose and there's no 911, man? Okay? All right? So I'm going to sign off and say again all praises and glorifications goes to Yahweh Bahasham. Yahweh Shah by Shamra Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and Elize Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of the earth, preaching his word and truth and his sincerity. I'm going to say Shalom, Kwame Ashala, and Abba Baba. If any of you Israelite simps out there don't like uh, how the hell I'm talking to these women, the hell with you and eat them fucking missile. All right? Shalom.